How do we use a surface profile gauge that doesn't use test X tape? I mean, don't we need test X tape? We'll figure this out, coming up. <music> Greetings, and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. Here's the question for today. Why should we use a surface profile gauge versus test X tape? It can be puzzling because we always think that with test X tape, we not only get an accurate reading, but also a permanent reading that we can keep for later when we need a proof of the profile. And that's absolutely true. But now that's also the case with a surface profile gauge. So let's start with accuracy. This is the new Defelsco gauge. And it has a process called a smart batch, which conforms to the new SSPC PA17 requirements for the number of measurements that it may take inside that given area to qualify it. The smart batch gives you the maximum of 10 readings. What you can see in this animation is the gauge will take 10 readings from that batch and it will choose the appropriate profile for the batch. And this is exactly how test X tape works. The test X tape uses the highest peak and the lowest valley to determine the profile. Maybe in the past you tested one of these gauges and when you took one reading it didn't match the test X tape. Because as you can see in the animation, the needle wave had been resting on a peak versus down in the deepest valley. This gauge's new smart batch method means you can quickly and easily take profile readings as accurate as test X tape. And instead of saving that piece of tape in your records for later proof of the profile, you can now store all the gauge's readings in the cloud, which is far easier and simpler to find than that single piece of tape. One last benefit of the gauge is it eliminates those potential errors that are inherent to taking tape readings, including pressing into the tape with the wrong way, the wrong pressure, or without the proper tool. With companies like Defelsco, our industry keeps getting it easier and easier. Thank you for watching this week's Prompt Insight. We'll see you next week.